Wagwan Beers and Subs, welcome back to class. Thank you for tuning in on this channel. Your feedback is appreciated. You can learn from me while I learn from you. In today's video, I want to show you exactly how you can use a body line as a blending guide while saving yourself a lot of time, material, and the headache. Now let's dive deeper into exactly what is going on right now. I repaired the quarter panel and I'm blending the rear door so the closer your repair is to the adjacent panel you would need to blend. I also repaired the rear bumper and here I'm going to be blending this side. I won't bring any paint over here because I want that side to match. This side will match because we're painting both uh, panels. Now guys, before you start painting, make sure that your panel is clean. What I'm using is a tack rag because I already cleaned mine with waxing grease remover and solvent based cleaner. You can use purple to clean. That's a trusted um, cleaner that's been in use for years. Without getting your panel clean, you're gonna have a whole lot of dirt and it's not going to look good in the end. Now the first layer of material that I will be applying is blending additive. If you don't have any blending additive that you can use in the gun, you can always use some reducer or blending additive, the ones that in a can. It doesn't have to be from a spray gun. This is my first coat. I am going to let this flash for about 10 minutes and then start applying my second coat. Now what I want you guys to pay attention to is this body line right here. This body line is a guide and this is how you wanna be smart about your painting. This body line is a guide. I do not need to go up to that body line with my paint. I can keep it right down here underneath it and get all the results that I need without even going too much into this panel because I still had a little bit of room here to blend but I don't want to take any chances I want to make sure that I get the job done without redoing anything This is my second coat guys and as you can see I'm pretty much done already. But then I will do one last coat and I will take it a little bit further to over into this door. there it is guys two and a half coats and I'm already done you can see that I didn't bring much paint over into the door you can see where I left it off on the foam tape right there I didn't go with any base coat at all up here all you might see is some overspray I kept it nice and tight down here underneath the body line that gave me a guide I mixed up five ounces of paint for this job I used about three ounces, still have leftover. What you want to do is when you're mixing paint or buying paint, buy a little bit more than you're probably going to use for mistake purposes. What you don't want to do is you end up making a mistake and now you're short on paint. You have to go mix up some more paint or worse, you have to go back to the store to get it. What if it's a Sunday and they're closed? You're screwed. <laughs> you gotta wait till Monday, you know what I mean? So when you mix up your paint, 
mix up a little bit more than you need or buy a little bit more than you need. For example, if the job is going to take a point of pain, get a quart. All right, that makes sense? Get a quart because you never know what might happen while you're painting. Painting is very tricky and it can be an a-hole sometimes. When in doubt, get a sun gun or a bright light and shine it on there to see exactly how your metallic flakes is laid out. Make sure that there is no modeling. Make sure you have proper coverage in all these little areas underneath because they're the quickest space for you to miss. And as you can see, this looks good. And I can go ahead and start clearing. Guys, it's time for clear. I'm using the WS400 Iwata, the Supernova. And um, I'm going to be spraying at 30 PSI. is it guys two coats of clear and I'm all done looking nice and shiny that's what the customer want to see they want to see shiny and it looks good everything is on point here now let me drop some advice on you guys when you go about clearing when you mix up your clear the first coat and then you notice that you have less clear make sure you mix up some more before you go ahead and put on your second coat reason being once you start spraying right you start to spray your clear and then you run out of clear this edge becomes dry it starts to dry itself right wherever you lift off your clear it's going to start to dry and then when you come back about a minute later and start clearing, you would have to go back over that same spot or the whole thing to make sure that it's completely glossy and not some spots wet and some spots dry. I hope that makes sense. I'll show you what this looks like when I put it back together, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, class dismissed.